In this video, I am going to explain an important failure in CMOS circuits, that is latch-up. Latch-up is a condition in CMOS circuits where a low resistance conducting path is established between VDD and ground. Due to that low resistance conducting path, heavy amount of current flows from VDD to ground that damages the CMOS device. Now let us see the structure of CMOS circuit. A CMOS circuit can be fabricated using either P-well process or N-well process. In P-well process, NMOS transistor is housed in P-well. P-MOS transistor is housed in Na2 substrate that is N substrate. Let us see the structure of P-well CMOS circuit. P-well CMOS circuit starts with N type substrate. This is N substrate. Into this N substrate, a deep P diffusion is formed. We can call it as P-well. Now in the P-well, N-MOS transistor is formed and P-MOS transistor is formed in the N substrate. So this is the N-MOS transistor. Uh, this is the source and drain of N-MOS transistor. And this P plus is the substrate contact for P-well. And this is the P-MOS transistor. These two are P plus source and drain. And this is the N plus substrate contact for N substrate. So the source of N-MOS transistor is connected to ground. Substrate contact also connected to the ground. Similarly, source of PMOS transistor is connected to VDD. Substrate contact also connected to VDD. And these two are the drains of the two transistors. These two are connected together and get the output. And these two terminals are the gate terminals. These two gates are connected and apply the inputs. This is the complete structure of P-well CMOS circuit. In this CMOS circuit, there is a stack of layers. So, due to the stack of layers, there are number of PN junctions formed. In this CMOS structure, N plus source P-well N-type substrate forms one NPN transistor and then this P plus source N substrate and P-well forms one PNP transistor and there is a substrate resistance there is another substrate resistance this is the structure formed in the CMOS circuit so from this P plus source N substrate P well here P plus source and drain acts as dual emitter. 2 emitter PNP transistor. And coming to the second transistor. N plus emitter. P-well 
n substrate this is one pnp transistor and this is npn transistor this is emitter base collector emitter base collector base of pnp transistor acts as the collector of npn transistor and base of npn transistor acts as the collector of pnp transistor in the diagram this is the collector of pnp transistor it acts as the base of npn transistor and this is the collector of npn transistor it acts as the base of pnp transistor so if i extract this structure from this structure if i extract the parasitic components the structure between vdd and ground looks like this now due to a noise spike on the supply rail some current flows through this resistance so due to that current there is some voltage drop across this if that voltage drop is sufficient to drive pnp transistor due to that there is a base current of very small amount that is negligible amount of current that is suppose 1 microampere so due to this base current there is a collector current of suppose the gain of this transistor is beta 1 then there is a collector current of beta 1 times ib1 let us assume that beta 1 equal to some 10 beta 1 equal to 10 then the collector current is approximately 10 microampere so this current flows into the base of npn transistor so the npn transistor will turn on so then the collector current in the npn transistor is equal to beta times the base current here the base current is 10 microampere suppose beta of npn transistor also 10 then the collector current in the npn transistor is 100 microampere actually due to noise noise spike there is very small current 1 microampere enter into the base of pnp transistor then that pnp transistor will turn on due to that current there is a total current in this loop in this loop is 100 microampere that is the total current is beta 1 into beta 2 times the base current so again due to that current pnp transistor will turn on and due to this pnp transistor npn transistor will turn on so there there forms a positive feedback between vdd and ground every time the current is multiplied by beta 1 beta 2 times so the current gradually increases between vdd and ground yet one instant the cmos device will damage the structure between vdd and ground is like this so it acts like a pnpn device which is called ser so the nature of ser is once an ser is turned on then there is heavy amount of current pass through it the only way to turn it off is to cut down the power supply it damages the cmos device this is the failure condition in cmos circuits we can call it as latch up so always we need to protect cmos circuits from this from this condition in order to protect the cmos device from latch up there are number of techniques can uh, techniques can be used to avoid latch up 
One technique is reduce the substrate resistance. Reduce substrate resistance and by maintaining by maintaining the product of gain factors of the transistors is less than unity also avoids the latch up problem and there are various other techniques also can be used that is by using guard ring and well taps can be used to read avoid and isolation trench like this there are number of latest techniques also available